Our trailers work with inertia brake. Inertia brake allows to brake the trailer with no electricity and no brake controller. To show you that mechanism, we're going to use the chassis of an unfinished trailer, our two horse straight load, but all our trailers have the same mechanism. Basically, when your car is slowing down, 
the trailer is going to push onto the coupler here, compress a shock absorber that's inside, that looks like that, and pull here onto this bar, like this, here, and this bar, which is attached to the four independent cables of the trailer, are going to be activated when this is pulled. So the four brakes here, the four brake shoe are going to push against uh, the drum and break the trailer, which means the harder you break the car, the harder the trailer is going to break. What are the advantages of uh, inertia brake? Number one, um, the system works without brake controller. You don't need to spend your money on installing a brake controller on your car. Number two, there is no electricity involved in the braking. Electricity can fail. Um, if you didn't plug the, the plug properly, if you have a, a blown fuse, if you have a short circuit, anything can happen and you have no brake on your trailer. Here, inertia brake will always work and will never fail because there is no electricity involved in it. Third advantage of our brake and uh, axle mechanism. Here, our bearing, which are the mechanism, the mechanism which allows uh, the wheel to turn, uh, are sealed, which means you don't have to uh, grease them. There is absolutely no maintenance um, for the bearing. What kind of suspensions do we use for St. George Post trailers? What we use on each axle is uh, what we call um, torsion axles. Torsion axles are made with four rubber parts. Okay, and um, when the, there is weight and um, a bump on the road, basically it will force onto the four rubber parts. The great thing about that is that there is absolutely no maintenance. What happens if you reverse with inertia brakes? First of all, when you're going backwards, the coupler is going to activate the brakes, which means these brake shoes here are going to push against the drum. But as your drum is going backwards, this way, it's going to push back onto those brake shoes and disengage just like this the brake shoes. This way your wheels are going to be free to go backwards and you can reverse the trailer that way.